The Western Conference had a pretty big shakeup this summer. What are your postseason hopes or expectations for this roster? It's always the same. Um, you know, step one is to make the postseason. Step two is to be a factor in the postseason. Uh, we were last year. We, we, you know, we expect to be this year. We hope to be. Uh, look, there's a million variables that come into play once you get down to the final eight, final four, you know, of our league. And a lot of those are out of your control. Um, you know, I think we saw two years ago with injuries to key players on a team that had championship expectations. You know, we've had some, you know, we've had some movement in the Western Conference, but basically you want to be a factor. You don't want to just get in to get in. You want to get in knowing that you can compete at that level and win playoff series and then see what happens. Neil, how's the organization going to handle Festus moving forward with his injuries? Are there, is there going to be any limit? our minutes limitations or anything? You know, look, we were aware that, you know, that Festus had some challenges when we signed him. Um, you know, Chris Stackpole and those guys do an unbelievable job, Jace. We've been top three in the league the last three years in games missed due to injury. It's one of the things that have contributed to our success. Um, we're going to be patient with Festus. Um, you know, Chris is doing a great job doing some functional things that he needs to take some of the pressure off of his knee um, that we're trying to adjust to while he rehabs from, you know, the PRP injections. Um, the, you know, the good news is we have a lot of depth at that position, and we can be patient. And, you know, sometimes there are signings that aren't really, they're not about October 1st, right? They're about later in the season. Um, and Festus is doing a great job working with our, um, our player development staff. He's working with Stack and his medical group, and we'll just take it, you know, week by week. Neil, what, what's next for Dame? We've seen him do so much. What more does he have that we haven't seen? You know, it's funny. Every time we think that Dame has maxed out what he can do for the organization, he finds another avenue to contribute even more. Um, you know, he's just so much more comfortable now, I think. You know, he realizes, you know, he's one of the top 10 or 15 players in our league. Um, the guys that come in now, everybody that's with this group, Joe, is either a guy who looked to Damien to be the leader or guys that have joined the organization knowing he's the leader. So what I'm hoping for Dame is that from a comfort level, he can take a little bit of the pressure off of himself knowing he's surrounded by guys he trusts, you know, on the court and off the court to do the right things. It's one of the things we've been talking about this whole offseason is how we do things in Portland. And we're not going to sacrifice that, that new guys coming in, this is how we do things here. And if you buy in, you'll be successful, but we need you to buy in. And, and that, that message is basically set by Damien and the way that he behaves and the way that he leads in the locker room, in the community, and on the court on game night. So, you know, I'm hoping from a comfort level this year, he doesn't feel the pressure to have to do as much on a nightly basis because he's got more support around him. Neil, will you guys entertain uh, extension talks with Mason? You know, it's something we, we've dabbled in, Jace. We're, we're not going to really get into contract talks. Um, you know, we made a lot of commitments this offseason. Um, you know, based on where the market is, um, it may not be the most favorable thing for us to get involved with right now, but, you know, Mason knows he's a part of what's going on. Um, you know, there's going to be another cap jump next year. And, look, if we get towards the end, I I've been pretty consistent with this, that I don't have extension discussions unless it's a no-brainer max discussion until the week that the deadline hits. Um, whether we choose to enter those discussions or he's inter interested in those discussions, that's another conversation. But basically, unless it's a Damian Lillard, no-brainer max, C.J. McCollum, no-brainer max, nothing gets done over the course of four months that can't get done over the course of four days. So there's no reason to entertain those thoughts before, you know, a few hours before the deadline. Have you as an organization held any discussions about, you know, the uh, protests and all that stuff that's going around? We have. Um, you know, Terry and I have met with the team. Um, our players have our full support, whether they're interested in doing something to bring more attention to what's going on, whether it's individually or as a team. Um, what we discuss stays between Terry and myself and our players, but, you know, they know that whatever they choose to do, they have our support 100%. Any other questions? Uh, just to follow up on that, have you also been talking to the league uh, about possible um, protests and things through, from your players? You know, they're having discussions. You know, I think we're all aware that, um, you know, our commissioner, Adam Silver, and executive director, Michelle Roberts, you know, sent a letter on behalf of both 
you know, size of the table, um, letting us know that, you know, we, everybody's aware, everybody's empathetic that there is a problem. It needs to be addressed. And right now, I think the step is that there are conversations going on, but those conversations need to result in an end game. You know, we've got we've to start moving those conversations towards a solution to these issues instead of just an ongoing conversation without an end. Um, but, you know, we're, we're getting some direction from them. Um, you know, again, you know, we take their leadership um, and their direction, but this is a very sensitive and, and individualistic issue as far as how people choose to express what their feelings are. And it's different for everyone. And like I said, our players have our support, whether they do something on an individual basis or as a team, um, and we'll support them as an organization.